Hello everyone out there, in there, everywhere. It is me, Dr. Ben. And John Snugs. And we are here, uh, not in our cave, because we are in a secret area to accommodate a dog that's... Yep. And uh, so, we are we're here... We're couching it. Yep, we're couching couch cave today. So we are here to talk about uh, this past Sunday's Rick and Morty, episode 5, mm -hmm. the Whirly Durly... Conspiracy. My I, favorite conspiracy theory. My favorite as well. Mm -hmm. um, I really like this episode. Yeah, um, I was just about to say, you know, you haven't been a huge fan of the past few. Yeah. So, how was this episode for you? You this, really liked it? This was one of, this is probably in my top five Rick and Morty episodes of all time. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's, so it's, it's that high. Yeah, so I really enjoyed this episode. I don't know if it's in my top five of all time, um, but it does touch directly on something that we've been talking about in every one of these review videos. Yeah, where's Jerry? Where's Jerry? And you kept saying he's gonna come back in a big way. Yep, in a big way. They had to. And I was thinking like he was gonna kind of jump in during an adventure, mm -hmm. or you know, he was gonna like kind of like always oh, swoop in last minute trope thing. Yeah. Um, but instead, it's top to bottom. No. Like Rick breaks into the room, well, they knew... episode one style, yeah. and drags him out of bed. You yeah. know, and and it just is perfect. Well, they knew that they they had to do it in a big way because. He's been so dumbed down in like the rest of so far. Anything else would be like a massive And um it was a fun adventure for him, you know? Uh and this is one of those episodes where like, okay, I can understand why a long time. Yeah, um there's a lot of sequences that are just very, very complicated. Yeah. But the whole whirly durly um sequence is great. Yeah. yeah with all of just Crazy roller coaster action, spinning parts, the warm, all like the that. wormhole. Ex the the wormhole sequence was also really good. Yeah, yeah, in the ship, um, they're like, "I am time. I'm literally time. I'm literally time." Yeah, <laughs> he has like the the chakra points all down him, and mm -hmm. and they're all. Uh, it was so great. I loved that sequence, and you know that had to be so fun for them to make. Yeah, I but I but I can also see it being like a pain in the ass for them to animate. <laughs> yeah, but as some. I feel like it definitely are, paid off. Uh, it definitely paid off. It's like a labor of love at yeah. that point. Like, yeah. like they know that it's a lot of work, and they know it's going to be crazy. But they also have that vision in their mind, and yeah. they're so excited to like make it happen. Yeah, imagine it's just so much fun working on it for everybody. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Just and the animators get to have a field day. Like, how many animators get to get like an improv yeah. bit and then just like make whatever out of yeah. the improv bit? So that's always great. I did really like how um kind of had the full spectrum of Jerry. We had the, like, oh, we're just lying to him and conning him along. Yeah. Oh, Jerry thinks he knows what's up. <laughs> then, oh, like, Jerry's sadder than anybody ever thought. The execution thing. The execution thing, This is an thing, execution. Yeah. Like, like, oh, God, Jerry's hit rock bottom. Yeah. Um, and this... Thing. Right, so this episode was more... Remember how I was talking about how I didn't like how we were beating up on Jerry, like, really, really hard without... Um, without it, like, even being funny? It was literally just, like, negging on Jerry for a long time. Yeah. Um... This episode, I felt like, struck that balance where I understand negging on Jerry is funny, and this episode, it was the funny. Like, like they gave him enough wins. Not even just that, but but he almost had the upper hand. He yeah. almost had the upper hand. Yeah, well, he did on the uh, on the boat for That's a while. Right. Or, yeah. Not the boat, whatever. The, uh, the spaceship. I the guess it's a space boat. Yeah, the space thing, whatever. <laughs> the space thing. That's probably what they yeah, call it in, um, the, in the offices. When, when, uh, when, when Rick got dumb... That is, yeah. like, my favorite Rick. It reminded me of the dumb Rick that becomes best Rick. friends with Jerry. Yeah. And he almost had the same kind of eyes going on. Yeah. He's like, oh, <laughs> cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember when I was watching that, I was thinking of you, and I was like, Ben, this is like the Benny Rick. Like, yeah, it I really is. cookies. Yeah. Cookies, obviously. That's exactly what I am. <laughs> just cookies all the time. Cookies, obviously. Yeah, cookies, obviously. We had those cookies. This is off the rails, but we bought those El Fudge cookies earlier in the week. When we were cruising through the Defenders. We ran into some misprints. And let me tell you, we found misprints. We found El Fudge cookies where the back, instead of having like the, the little saying, was so we're, flipped backwards. So we're making this Rick and Morty review where it's now actually just... A, a we're Keebler. calling out Keebler. Keebler. We need, you, we need you to fix these misprints and send out... This ridiculous. These... How am I supposed to read the, the quip on the back of the cookie if it's flipped around so that the quip is covered in chocolate? Then what? Am I going to have to disassemble the cookie... Lick the chocolate off. Eat and other cookies and... to figure out what it was supposed to say. It's just, it's too much work. It's not as advertised, okay? You've told us that on the package that we're going to get a certain amount of each phrase 
for each cookie. And I, I feel like I, it on the pack. I I feel like it, and it I, should say it, it on should the say it on the package. I want to know exactly what I'm buying when I'm spending that much money. Dollars. That's expensive. Yeah, it's expensive cookies. Yeah. Uh, gourmet. I think this is a Rick and Morty. So, yeah, so. Um, but really, it was a really good episode. What, I loved it. What do you think of the, uh, the side story? The side story. The B plot. Um, the B plot was at first it was just like, oh, Summer wants to make her boobs bigger. It just yeah. seemed like an easy fan servicey way to just like increase. Summer's boob size yeah. and do other weird things, but or, my favorite part or, of it was or, um, or make her a gigantus, like. right? And and like honestly, Summer had almost nothing to do with side plot. She was yeah. just like the um, the thing that drove the side plot. The side right. plot was all about Beth and her like how she doesn't want to call. She Rick. doesn't want. She doesn't, she doesn't want, want to, have to rely on Rick. on Rick, right? And I actually really liked. I pointed this out to you while we were rewatching the episode. Mm -hmm. How um, Morty. Like, at first, it seems like Morty talked to Rick. He's like, please, can you just take Dad on an adventure? And Rick, like, honestly believes it. He's like, Morty asked me to do this for you. He's pretty beat up about yeah. the divorce. And then Morty goes, I conned Rick into taking Dad on an adventure just so I could get out of some of this stuff. Yeah. And, and not have a day like this, we see you know? The, we see the real reason. Right, and that's interesting, too, now, because um, that's I think, says a lot about also how Morty is dealing with it. Morty, like... It seems earlier that going on all these crazy adventures helps him put it out of his mind. Now, but I'm, now it seems like he kind of just wants to sit at home I'm, and process. I'm, I'm hoping that with the continuity of this show that tonight's new episode, um, from what I understand, all of tonight's episode is a straight-up Rick and Morty. Oh, just like a classic yeah. episode? No like, yeah. gimmick or, like, that, or parody of that's something That's what they else. said on their, on their Twitter. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm down with that. And, and I'm hoping that this whole thing plays into, like... Where Morty wanted to get out of the adventures and like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So. And like he kinda that ends up having to stumble and yeah. On. Yeah. Um but the the machine, the I constantly love the little creative bits where like yeah. she calls the service number and the guy's like walking <laughs> through basic service and then they open it up, we're free and I they love like that. run out of the I bottom of the machine. Like that's just such a perfect Rick love, and Morty I, style. I love I love when machines have people. Yeah, well, yeah. I know you. You always what was the comic you had where like the little guys. And yeah, stuff. I yeah, know, I know. Yeah. But still, you just love you love that yeah. little people idea. Yeah, uh, but that was so funny. And then, of course, they come back in the tag uh, with the kid that Morty getting a little dark. Morty, yeah. uh, Morty kind of sits down and gives like a Takes Godfather style speech to Ethan. And yeah, then, uh, your s'mores getting Ethan lights him up. Like who knows what he even did to the guy? Uh, we, we we find out. We find out episode. actually. Well, we find out how to undo it. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. specifically <laughs> walk through how to fix it, guys. Mm -hmm. No work talk. But really, we we enjoyed this episode a lot. Uh, perfect, perfect Jerry episode. Yeah, gave him a little highlight. It was very reminiscent of when Jerry is accidentally on the trip. And Rick has to like oh, find man, out what to I do with it. That, one. that episode is so I, funny where I he drops him at the one. Jerry the daycare. And chips. Yeah, oh my god, that, he drops him off the, the Jerry gate. That that's what this one felt like. This one, this one, it like, felt like that really episode. Like, yeah. I love seeing Jerry out of his own. Also, I love them going to like um like uh, any kind of I don't want to say cultural center, but like like I love when they go out into the melting universe. Pot, a melting yeah, pot. Yeah, into one of these like, there's, like places in the universe. The, and, and and there's not just one species. Yeah. of it's like of oh creature. everybody knows about right. blips and shits. It's right. like, oh everybody knows about this place where you can go right. and, and there's a no kill zone and yeah. all that stuff. But then you know there's always that Rick and Morty always twists it into the dark a little bit where yeah. like the kids running around shoots a sister. Ha ha! Just yeah. kidding. And then later on he just shoots her in the head and, and kills she her. She dies because <laughs> because they took down the field. Yeah, yeah. And just like uh, that's a uh, you know they always have that little dark spin on it. So we're at the halfway mark of a I can't season. Believe it. Wow. It feels like we've been through more. For some reason, it feels like we've been through more, more than five episodes. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guess I guess because we're going through like a lot of different character beats and like each. Even even though I haven't personally liked uh, each episode from this season, or mm -hmm. like or like liked them as much as previous seasons, they I they still go through like big set pieces and big story things. Like it's hard to remember that the whole pickle Rick thing took place in one episode. It felt like yeah. it felt like two episodes almost because he was in the sewer and then he was at the embassy. Yeah, I think they've managed to cram a lot into these shorter episodes mm -hmm. and um if we think about how we've actually only seen four episodes since we started yeah these like reviews yeah. really the first episode was all the way back in april. april fool's yeah Day. and so we've 
we're not even actually at the halfway point as far as this block. Technically, we are for this season, but yeah. not for like watching. So that's great because that we feel like there's been so much of this, still so yeah. much left that it is really just a good. Glad you know it took a while for it to come out, but you don't want to rush something like this. It's I'm just... glad. I'm glad it came out now instead of like during the. Yeah, why? Because the fall is just so packed with. Oh, other we're going things. to be. Whoo, I feel like Marvel, I, I feel DC, like TV. I feel like summer is like the summertime is just big on cartoons. Yeah, you know, we've had this. We well, have... yeah, because kids aren't in school. Like but like, but like these kinds of cartoons. Oh well, yeah, that's true. This <laughs> Rick and Morty has nothing to do with the kids not being no. in school. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah, it's uh. We've got Bojack Horseman in. But like, the thing is, that Sunday is like everything's on Sunday. I feel like right now. It's... That's true. Although I know you're only watching Rick and Morty, right? But I, but I know Rick and Morty I know, Thrones, I know Game, and Game last week tonight I enjoyed. Oh yeah, well, yeah, always on last Sunday. week tonight. Um, but yeah, we do have BoJack coming up. We'll do BoJack Horseman yeah. because I love BoJack. Mm-hmm. That's is that Friday? That's September eighth. Oh, September. Something is Friday. This I'm Friday is Inhumans. Inhumans. Okay, that's so right. what yes. we're gonna do is we are gonna go. We are going to see Inhumans in theater, and we'll do a review. A review of that uh after it absolutely that will be coming up next week. yeah get ready but anyway that that's it for this episode i think yep that's it we for have another Rick episode Morty. coming up tonight i know we did this one a little late we had a bit of a crazy week kind of part of being couch cave um but we'll be back in the cave all normal um tomorrow, i'm not sure maybe okay. we'll see but we'll be definitely back in the cave by next week. Yeah. Our next Rick and Morty review will be, you know, regular. regular it'll be it'll business. be tomorrow night. Regular business. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you for checking this out. We hope you've been enjoying oh, Rick and Morty as much as us. Score it. Score it. Score what? Score the episode. Oh, score the episode. Yeah. Um, definitely, this episode, I really liked it. I don't know if it's in my top five, I said, again. But most of the top fives, I just give great tens. This is nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I, definitely. Definitely yeah. not. Um... I don't have any complaints about it. Like, I have I some have of the any, previous I don't episodes. have any complaints about it either. I really, like, you're asking me what could maybe bump it to a 10. Why isn't it in my top five? And it's literally just how many times I laugh out loud versus other episodes that have had me, like, crying. I mean, I think I think the only, the only thing that I would ding it for... I'm having trouble dinging it for anything. It's just, I, you know what? You're searching for something to ding yeah, it Yeah, you know what? It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 There you go. Me. There it is. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for us. There we go. Until next time. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye.